Law enforcement is bracing for potential violence following the release of the Supreme Court draft opinion that was published earlier this week on Roe versus Wade. CNN has learned that the U.S. Capitol Police are bracing for large demonstrations that are being organized by far right groups to protest abortion rights. Ah, uh, yes. When is the right wing or far right not the go to boogeyman for left wing party shills? Strangely, all the video and threats of violence that I've seen have come from fanatical left-wing Democrats. Speaking of that, isn't it odd how mere moments after that Supreme Court decision was leaked, there were protesters outside the building with signs that were ready for the occasion. As we're all quite used to by now, the media can never portray their left-wing movements negatively. So when you have left-wingers out there fighting with police and putting out the personal home information of Supreme Court judges under the guise of women's rights, they have to create create an alternate reality that refocuses that negative attention on their critics and political opponents. Watching this clip is like watching a scene from The Running Man. They just replace the bad guys with the faces of their opponents. Uh, Brittany, uh, sorry, Whitney, what are authorities fearing could happen? Well, the major risk here, based on the conversations I've had with several members of law enforcement throughout the week, is that there is a very real concern here that people who are committed to committing acts of violent extremism could use the Roe v. Wade opinion as justification for that. And that in could include left wing attacks against Supreme Court buildings, threats and attacks on conservative judges. Antifa or BLM riots that include taking over highways, which entails violating people's rights, safety, and outright assaults. Any of those things, maybe? You'll find out in 30 seconds after I tell you about this special offer from preparewithdronetech.com. Friends, the world is in serious danger right now. Inflation is causing food prices to skyrocket. The global supply chain continues to collapse. And the coming food shortages will be worse than anything we've lived through. In times like these, what should you do? Go to preparewithdronetech.com and invest in long-term food storage from My Patriot Supply while you still can. When you need it, you'll have it and you'll avoid the government lines. Act quickly and save $150 on a vital three-month emergency food kit. Go to preparewithdronetech.com and save $150 on every three-month food kit. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Protect your family and secure this emergency food today. Preparewithdronetech.com. Uh, the possibility that someone would commit an act of violence against abortion providers, uh, against the clinics, against members of the judiciary, members of the federal government. And that also includes members of the Supreme Court. They are also very closely monitoring threats that have uh, erupted really on social media. I should caution, though, there are no specific credible threats. I just want to point out that they make all these claims about right wing threats, then just kind of sneakily throw in there that there are no actual credible threats. But in fact, there are from left left-wingers. Left-wingers from a group called Ruth sent us who have right on their website that quote, we must rise up to force accountability using a diversity of tactics along with the addresses of all the conservative judges. These activists posted a map with the home addresses of the Supreme Court justices. Is that the kind of thing this president wants to help your side make their point? Look, I think the president's view is that there's a lot of passion, a lot of fear, uh, a lot of uh, sadness from many, many people across this country about what they saw in that leaked document. So he doesn't care if they're protesting outside the Supreme Court or outside someone's private residence. I, I don't have an official US government position on where people protest. Translation, it's different when we do it. However, social media chatter is being taken much more seriously in the wake of January 6th. And here in Washington, you're seeing uh, one of the, really the new reactions that law enforcement has in the wake of January 6th, and it's these non-scale fences that law enforcement puts up. Just take a look up behind me here at the Supreme Court. This is this eight foot non-scalable fence that went up uh, late Wednesday night. Once again, she's deflecting from the truth by referring to January 6th, when the reason those fences are up is because of left-wing violence. Yes, that was a communist hammer and sickle flag you saw them waving. Next to that, 
are these concrete barriers, which is, you know, really shutting down the road here. And it is truly the physical representation that law enforcement is concerned. Uh, yesterday, uh, officials had a call with 150 participants across the country warning state and local law enforcement that the possibility for violence is very real and they must be on high alert. Sadly, the city has seen far too much of that fencing uh, around the Capitol, around uh, Black Lives Matter Plaza. Um, and now we fear that there could be violence uh, over this potential ruling at the Supreme Court. Whitney Wilde at the Supreme Court this morning. Thanks very much. Unreal. At the end there, they continue to imply that it's right wingers who are the reason for all this fencing being up. When in reality, it originally was erected to keep BLM and Antifa rioters from entering the White House, where they were rioting, fighting with Secret Service police and almost burned down a church. How did the media report it? As an opportunity to frame Trump as Hitler hiding in his bunker. So what did we hear? We heard about far right demonstrations against abortion rights, attacks on abortion clinics. Like when's the last time one of those happened? Then finally, attacks on the Supreme Court and judges. But then they go on to reference January 6th, again, putting focus back on CNN's and the Democrat Party's political opponents. There hasn't been a single mention about left-wing protests, riots, or threats against conservative judges. Why would right-wing groups just suddenly organize demonstrations against the Supreme Court when they're doing exactly what they wanted? Doesn't it make a lot more sense that these demonstrations are actually counter protests against the left-wing protests and riots that are already going on? Instead, we get a running man style alternate reality brainwashing. It's what they're good at. Help support my effort to expose them by using one of the links in the description or pinned comment. You can also hit that like button, share, and leave a comment to help the algorithm. Thanks a lot. Keep checking back daily for new content. <coughs>